Good morning, I'm Aldis from FNG. In this video I will show you how to properly install CSR 1000 Everest or Denali images into EVE. Under documentation, how to's, you will find all necessary steps for Denali and Everest installation. Let's go in. First, you have to obtain ISO media installation from Cisco. Let's go to Cisco Downloads and you can see Denali 16.3.7. I already downloaded this ISO media to my desktop. ISO, not OVA, but ISO. Okay, it's here. It's already downloaded. Next step, actually first step. Um, SSH to your EVE. Okay, so I'm in. And create the directory, temporary directory, ABC, where we will create create our Denali. I'm creating ABC and going into that location. Okay, I'm in. Step two, upload downloaded media to the ABC using FileZilla or WinSCP. I'm using FileZilla. In the host, type your uh, EVE management IP. Username is root. Password is Eve by default, <clears throat> but it can be other if you change it. And the port is 22. Quick connect. Oh, root. Sorry. Okay, quick connect. Here we are. On the right side, you can see I am in a root, and we just created directory ABC. Double click on it to enter. On the left side, you can see our Denali downloaded ISO media, which I'm simply drag and drop into ABC. Upload process started. I'm going to pause and be back once it's done. Upload completed. You can see transfer finished. So we have media here. Let's go next. Um, we are create step three. We are creating hard drive for our new image. I'm copy. Make sure that you are in in this location ABC and uh, and I'm paste this command here. Image created. We can check now, LS, what the content we have in ABC. We have our CSR ISO media, and we have Virtua A QCAL hard drive, where we, will, where we will install it. Let's start. Next, step four, pretty long line, but we have to little bit edit it. Copy and paste in your notepad. And make sure that this one, CSR ISO file name matching with your file name, with, uh, what you uploaded into ABC. So I'm going to replace, copy, and paste here, right? Now we can see that we have right one. Copy all line, go back, and we start installation. Press any key in the serial console and you must choose serial console it is important for later for csr use if you wish to open telnet sessions okay so serial console is right enter and we starting installation i'm going to pause our csr is going to be completed soon and actually that's why i started record this video because it is very important to do not miss step six it is important once the prompt, press any key to continue, will appear, we have to hit any key and choose Serial Console again. Let's wait it. The whole installation of Denali uh, took about five, five, six minutes probably. So we are waiting the prompt again, press any key to continue. Then I will hit my space bar. Okay, hit. Again, I'm choosing the serial console, but in this point, do not hit enter. Look at this. Do not hit enter after selected serial option. Okay. Now we are ready to go for step seven. In step seven, uh, 
I am pressing key combo of Control A and then C. Okay. Control A and C. And you can see the new prompt key mo appear, right? Okay, key mo. And the next one is quit. Quit, following by enter. Done. We stop at installation. It, it is actually completed installation, but a couple of steps left to finish everything. Um, step 8. I'm creating new directory, but again, needs to a little bit corrected. I'm going to use my notepad. And the very important, the first part of thing, up to hyphen. Eve is reading this part. Behind hyphen, it can be anything here. But I prefer to use official image names, so I'm going to use that one and we'll replace with this actually replaced. Okay, and I'm creating the new directory which will be used in my eLabs. Okay, control uh, copy and paste. Done. Step 9, we are moving a virtual a QCAL image where we install at our Denali. Again, I am a little bit, a little bit edit this line to be sure that you are copying the virtual hard drive in correct, correctly created uh, Denali folder. Okay, again copy, going back here, done. And the step 10, stand tap, you can just uh, copy all three command lines to the your if and hit enter. Installation is completed. We can go to our topology and add the CSR next generation Denali and Everest. You can see that Denali appeared here. Okay. I'm saying save and start node. Started. Now let's check. I'll be back uh, once it's fully booted to show that everything is fine. Okay, our Denali is booting and we can check the version and enable show version and you can see we just installed it, which is version 16.3.0 and this is Denali. Thank you very much for viewing.